Hi everyone, welcome back to Jabara. It's Barb. Today we are doing some deep, deep cleaning. We are getting in all the places that we usually forget about or out of sight, out of mind. All those places are going to be tackled today in this video. I hope you're ready for it. I hope it motivates you. I hope it reminds you to maybe clean some things that we often forget about. We're gonna deep clean the rug out here. We're gonna be dusting everything. We're gonna be cleaning under the furniture. It's gonna be a great video and I really hope it motivates y'all. We are also going to tackle some spider webs up in the corners, stuff that I haven't done in months. So of course, I'm gonna start here in the kitchen. Y'all know I can't do anything without my kitchen clean first. So let's go ahead and get that done and then we will hop into the spring cleaning. So I wanted to first of all say thank y'all so, so much. I always thank y'all, but the support that I have here is tremendous and it's it means a lot to me and I appreciate it. So I just wanna start out by saying that. And also I am getting some, um, y'all wanna see a question and answer type situation. So please in the comments, if you have any questions for me, just drop it in the comments and I will make a video addressing all those and letting y'all know as much as I can about anything that I can. Um, a lot of y'all are very interested in my diet. A lot of y'all are interested in the cleaning products that I use, things like that. So definitely, definitely drop it down in the comments. And if I can answer it, I most certainly will. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this sink before I wash some dishes. We actually have a rust problem here. We always have, we live right next to the gulf so we have a lot of moisture in the air all the time things get rusted very very quickly so some of our knives were getting some rust on them so i wanted to take those and use a stainless steel pad clean those up really quick i need to remember to dry them every time i shouldn't be putting them in the dishwasher because they get rust in there as well so i'm going to be hand washing the knives from now on we do use a lot of knives as y'all know <laughs> with the diet so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and just scrub these off really quick and get them nice and clean and get them put up again had a few other dishes to hand wash we're gonna take care of that now Also, I just got a new mic, guys. Can y'all let me know down in the comments how it sounds? Do I need to adjust anything? Um, I know audio is a huge deal when it comes to YouTube or any kind of thing like that with social media. But, oh my gosh, I wanted to tell y'all, I dropped the air fryer the other day and I almost lost my mind because we use the air fryer every single day, whether it be me and my husband or the kids. We do not fry anything in grease anymore, so... I almost lost my mind because I was thinking like I'm trying to budget I do not need to go have to buy a new air fryer but my husband was able to fix it I had this cutting board leaned up against it and it slid and it knocked the um, air fryer off of the counter and then there was a little screw that came out and went in there so I was like well I can't turn it on because you know god forbid I start an electrical fire or something crazy like that because I would and uh, my husband was able to fix it so the air fryer is okay for now but yeah i was just being very dramatic about it because i was mad at myself because it's helped us so much with not frying foods so it's definitely a must-have in this house um let me know if you have any good recommendations for when it is time to get a new one hopefully this one lasts a little bit longer
My goodness, that's a lot of knives. I've never had so many lives in my, knives in my life. <laughs> So we're just about done. I'm going to go ahead and put those away and then we're going to just clean off the countertops. I'm also going to water my plant over here. I'm so proud of this plant I stole from my mother. Um, well, I didn't steal it. I clipped it and maybe we clipped a little much, but she didn't even notice. But um, yeah, I've, I've kept it alive. It's going strong. My husband bought me this other plant over here, which I feel is like a seasonal plant. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to kill it. The only thing I've been able to keep alive is the ivy. I'm working on it because, honestly, when I decorate the house or whatever, I really like plants. I have a lot of fake plants, but I would love to have real plants everywhere. I know it's really good for the oxygen and cleaning the air and all that stuff. And when I see homes with the real plants, I just think it's gorgeous. My mom has a lot of real plants in her home. My mother-in-law has a lot of real plants. I mean, it's just, it's so beautiful just to look at. And it just makes you feel like you're at one with nature when you have the plants in the house. But for the life of me, I can't keep them alive. They're just screaming, just please don't buy us. Please do not buy me. I'm sure that's what the plant's thinking whenever it sees me coming. But um, <laughs> I'm going to try this year, but I'm really proud of how my ivy's growing. I'm trying to get it to go up and around the window in here. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I definitely want to do some more stuff in the house as far as decor and shelves. And, you know, I would love to have the plants draping from shelves. I think that's such a pretty look. So maybe we can work on that. I don't know. We'll get there eventually. I mean, I, I, I see why. I mean, I couldn't even take care of myself. I don't know why I was trying to take care of some plants. But we're, we're all getting better here. <laughs> it's about growing and, and just trying to be better than we were yesterday, right? So anyway, we're just about done in here. And then we are going to clean the sink, I believe, and get that all nice and good. I do love the clean sink. I love cleaning my sink. I don't know what it is about it. It's weird, but it's, I like it. So anyway, we're just about done in here and then we can start the like deep spring cleaning in the living room and in the dining room. We did the kitchen deep clean, uh, spring clean. So I'll try to link that. I'll try to add a card here. So that way, if you missed that video, you can watch it. I'm doing this in like segments where I'm trying to get the whole house done. One of, uh, my friends on here was saying she's trying to get her spring cleaning done so she can spend more time outside gardening. I would love to do that too. And I, I really want to start growing some things, especially for my chickens, um, different flowers and foods that they like to eat. I would love to get them a nice little garden going. So hopefully I can work on that too. It might be a little too late this year, but at least I can start planning some stuff out. My husband's been working his tail off outside on the property, getting it looking nice, cutting down trees, just doing so, so much. So I can't wait to take y'all out there again and show y'all everything. The sink was starting to smell a little bit, so I put in some baking soda and vinegar. I don't know if it does anything. I know that vinegar and baking soda both um, deodorize. So I just do that. I also do that trick if I have a drain that is plugged, like the one where I get ready at in the morning in the bathroom gets plugged a lot because of my hair falling out. I have makeup stuff going everywhere. So I do put that in there and it just like pulls everything to the surface. I also do that in the shower, the bathtub. I don't know if you do that as well, but instead of using Drano, that's what I usually use. These are from Amazon. I told y'all about them in the last video where you can store things in them. So my husband had already started going through some of his winter clothes and he was putting them out there to see if they would fit in there. I was able to shove a couple in there, but the jacket was just not gonna go and I didn't wanna bust the zipper. I didn't wanna break it. So I'll just have to put that one in storage. I am going to be doing that next week. We're gonna start on the clothes and decluttering all that, getting out the winter stuff, bringing in the spring and the summer things, and just getting my closet cleaned out. I have the tiniest closet, and it's so hard when winter rolls around because I have a ton of jackets and hoodies and sweaters, and it's just big bulky things in there. So I'm ready to get all that out and get my closet back. So we'll be working on that next week. To tell what you were thinking, babe Your thoughts are only getting louder While you are up in space I sit here by myself
So I don't know when the last time was that I deep cleaned this window in the living room. We had a lot of dust in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray it with my all purpose cleaner, which y'all know is just the lemon and vinegar water mix. And it just makes it smell a little better than just straight vinegar, but it does lift a lot and it does help deodorize. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down these blinds really quick. We're going to do the whole window. Um, it, it was disgusting. And I, it still amazes me how clean windows and clean blinds can change a whole room. Does anybody notice that? I don't go into people's houses and notice, oh, are your blinds clean? Are your windows clean? But in my home, when I'm here and I clean it, when I take the extra step to clean these and to clean the windows, it just makes the room so bright and just airy and Sadie is snoring so loud <laughs> she just had a really good bath she actually has surgery on the 16th we're taking her to get fixed so I want to try to get everything in my room clean for her and the carpets clean and everything before she gets back because she will be laid up for a few days so anyway if you hear her snoring back there <laughs> she's just so loud It took forever to get those blinds clean. It always does. They're very big. Um, our windows, we only have like one window in the living room, but it's huge. And then we have one in the bedroom that's huge. And they're just really big, <laughs> the blinds to clean and everything. But I wanted to show y'all how dusty it was over here. I am using my sprayer for my lemon and vinegar quit working. So I just went ahead and grabbed the baking soda water mix. Uh, just to make it a little abrasive and trying to scrape some of this stuff out of here and off of here, get it all nice and clean again. I love the white around the windows, but I also love black around the windows. And I really want to do that to the sliding glass door. I will show y'all in a bit when we go to clean that one, just because of all the wear and tear it gets on that door. But I don't know how it would look. Let me know what you think in the comments. If I did go ahead and get some metal paint and did the sliding glass door in the dining room. Should I go ahead and do it over here too? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I always love getting y'all's opinion on things. Even when y'all talk to me like about talking, like someone said that I was repeating a, a phrase a lot whenever I was talking. And I appreciate those things because I don't know all the time unless you tell me, even though sometimes, yes, when I'm listening back or whatever, I'm like, oh my gosh, I sound so crazy. Like I'm saying the same thing over and it's just, it's a little harder than it looks to become really comfortable with just sitting and talking in a microphone while watching a video of yourself <laughs> and just not really knowing what to say or it does, it's a little nerve wracking. It's not as bad as it used to be when I first started. Of course, my health is changing now. So my brain is working a little differently. I'm trying to fix a lot of things that are going on. So yeah, anything that you want to let me know down in the comments, let me know. I'm not going to get offended. I'm not going to, I won't get offended. I promise you. I just, there's a way to say things too, though. Like don't try to hurt my feelings, but like, just, you know, 
I think that honesty is also kindness. It's just how you say it. So anyway, let me know down in the comments. I do not mind at all. So now we're going to go ahead and clean the carpets really quick. Well, the rug, as y'all know, my other carpet machine did break. It was a Bissell. I had gotten that one on Amazon. This one we picked up at Walmart a couple of months ago and it works really great. I was a little nervous after cleaning this rug because I didn't feel like it sucked up enough of the water, but then my rug did dry within a couple of hours. So I guess it wasn't that bad. It does work really well. I wanted to slow down, uh, this is sped up to like 1200. I wanted to show you real time. This is how I clean the rugs. So slow. Like the slower you get with vacuuming and doing these types of things, like with cleaning the carpets, the slower you go, the better result you're going to get. I know it's tedious and it's time consuming, but it does make all the difference in the world to just take it extremely slow when doing these types of things. So anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up. Like you can tell just a huge difference in it already. That's just half of it done. And it just makes a world of difference. The kids play in here constantly. I like having the rug. I hate having the rug. It's, you know, I don't know. I don't know why we do things. <laughs> like there's this video talking about how some people just create more problems to have and I feel like sometimes I do that that's why I chilled out a lot on having a lot of stuff having a lot of furniture having a lot of clothes it's just a lot to take care of it just at, at the end of the day <laughs> it's a lot to do so anyway just you know right here look at this just junk 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 collected over the years, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever even cleaned this thing out or organized it. I did clean the middle drawer because I wanted to keep our hats and our gloves and our winter stuff in there. I'm not going to mess with that drawer today, but look at this. It's a travesty. I need to get all this cleaned out. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now.
So I love this vacuum. I will try to find one and link it below. It's a game changer. I usually don't, you know, most products are the same, but I like that it's light and you can pack it around with you and I don't have to like grab a big vacuum. I don't have to change any attachments. It's just right there, ready to go, easy to charge, all that stuff. So I'll see if I can find one for y'all. Cause like I said, it's really cool to have in the vehicles too just on the fly but it's really cool for when you're doing stuff like this with drawers and the little places where you just need a little vacuum to just get up some light stuff nothing serious so anyway i'll try to link it for y'all if i can find it but this drawer i don't know i didn't even know what to put back in here i'm just putting miscellaneous stuff in here and it looks a lot better to me i need my husband to go through the remotes because i don't know what's to what i don't deal with that kind of stuff um this drawer, I have a lot of owner's manuals down here. I keep owner's manuals. I have, I still have the paperwork for like the double wide on how to take care of it and stuff. <laughs> like I keep all those things. I'm very old school like that. But I just had a ton of miscellaneous stuff in here that I needed to take some of it out, get it organized, all the things. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep on doing this. Do y'all have furniture like this where you just store things in and you don't ever think about it? And then when you're looking for something, you just go rummage through it. And I, it's just crazy to me how much stuff we collect. But like I said, I needed my husband to go through some of this stuff as well because some of it was his stuff. So I did make a little pile in a basket where he could just go through some things too. It isn't hard to tell what you were thinking, babe. Your thoughts are only getting louder. While you are up in space, I sit here by myself
So we are just about done in here. I had no idea how long this video would be. If you're still here, thank you so much for the support. And I hope it's motivating you and making you want to get up and clean and do some stuff around the house. I know it can be difficult sometimes to get motivated. I even watch cleaning videos and it's just, it, it truly is motivating when you need it. So I am just using some pine saw right now. I know I usually don't use heavy chemicals like that, but I do love pine saw. I love the way it smells and it, it does kill 99% of germs and bacteria. But when I'm doing deep cleans like this, sometimes I do like to bust out the pine saw and just get that smell going, just some nostalgia from growing up and being around pine saw all the time. But we're just about done in here. I just needed to dust this mirror too. If you follow me on Instagram, I do share a lot more over there of just day-to-day -day life, what I'm working on, when I'm working out, what I'm eating sometimes, all that stuff. And that is Jabara under dash at home. If you want to go check that out, I have it linked down in the description box. So now I'm just going to vacuum and then I'm actually going to go ahead and get on my hands and knees and scrub these floors every now and then you just got to bite the bullet and do it. So I'm going to do that as well. Like two magnets we are drawn to each other. You just know how to push all my buttons. Moved out of town and I erased your number. But still I find myself So we're just about done with the floors in here. It is crazy how much dust accumulates around the edges, on the baseboards, just everywhere. Whenever I'm mopping or sweeping, I'm not really paying that close attention. I can barely see what's in front of me half the time. So I never see how nasty it is up close, but man, it was really bad, really dusty, and it felt so, so good to clean it like this. I used to do this all the time when I was younger, and then when my body started failing me, I stopped doing it, but now my body's coming back, and it's feeling stronger, 
and it doesn't hurt me to be doing this. Um, so it's really nice to get it all done again. I was going to tell you if you like videos like these, then please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. It really helps the channel out. I do like to post at least once or twice a week. I'm working on getting three videos a week up and I'm thinking those are going to be on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday. No, actually Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday will be videos. So let me know how y'all like that schedule. Also, do y'all watch YouTube early in the morning, late at night? Let me know down in the comments when you're usually on YouTube or when you get notifications for videos because I have been having a hard time figuring out a good posting time for my channel. So up here we have a bunch of spider webs. I don't know. It's been a while. So this door is actually, it's the window. It goes to outside. So when we have lights on on the porch, of course, we attract a lot of critters, a lot of insects, a lot of flies and just all kinds of things. So the spiders come here to eat and they do build up around this door. So I needed to clean that. It was absolutely horrible. And even the wall back here, it looks clean. It was filthy. It was filled with dust and just little bugs and just all kinds of stuff back here. Splatter from people eating. And I've had so many guests here <laughs> over the past few months. And I was just kind of embarrassed. Like, oh my gosh, because you don't always see the things that other people see. So I don't know what they were thinking. Like, how does this girl have a cleaning channel? But anyway, got it all done and it feels so refreshing. It's so nice to have everything just so neat and tidy again. I was trying to be very meticulous on this day and just going for it. Like it felt so good to have the energy to do all this like I used to do. I haven't done it in so long and it felt so, so good. We are who we are. Why don't I be me and you be you? We're spreading color around us. We're lighting up the sky, it's what we do.
So we are just about done with the floors in here, and then I'm going to head over and vacuum and do the same thing in the kitchen, get on my hands and knees and clean in there as well. Um, I was also making us some supper. My husband, oh my gosh, we made taco meat, which I have to be careful with the taco meat. It has to say gluten, or the seasoning has to say gluten-free. Even with that, I still don't feel my best eating that. I'm just going to say that. I don't feel my best eating the taco seasoning. But my husband made, um, he just takes shredded cheese and puts it at the bottom of a pan and lets it fry and get crispy. And then we put the taco meat in it and it is so, so good. That's just, you know, a little tip. If you want to stay away from tortillas or anything like that, you can just use some cheese and it is absolutely delicious. Maybe we'll show y'all one day if we do it again but it was so so good I was just like oh this is like a cheat meal for me <laughs> it was so delicious but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and fix that up really quick and let it just simmer there and then I'm gonna clean the floors in here I have to go get the kids in the bath and ready for karate so I will see y'all Wednesday and we will have some more cleaning motivation I don't know what we're gonna be doing hopefully the bedroom hopefully getting rid of clothes hopefully decluttering that's our goal this month is to declutter so anyway I hope y'all have an amazing an amazing week and I will see y'all in the next one I love you all so so much and as always take care of each other bye guys <laughs>